First confirmed EF5 in the U.S. in a dozen years. The June 20th twister killed three people traveling on the ground for roughly 12 miles and grew to be nearly a mile wide at times. Now, meteorologists from the National Weather Service office in Grand Forks now estimate the tornado's winds reached at least 210 miles an hour. Now, determining that, determining a tornado's strength can take days or weeks as meteorologists study the damage to everything the twister hits. Well, this case took much longer because of the unusual damage to a train and more specifically to individual rail cars, including one that was actually picked up and hurled several hundred feet. Now, the last tornado to receive an EF5 rating was back in May of 2013 in Moore, Oklahoma, a southern suburb of Oklahoma City. The 12 year gap between top of the scale ratings is the longest since the agency started keeping records in 1950. However, with this new research becoming accepted science, it's possible that other strong tornadoes that occurred between 2013 and now also get upgraded, which could include the Greenfield, Iowa tornado from just last year.